This is my second year here. Of course I've eaten Indian food. Indian food? Uh, probably like Dal Makhni, I would say. Like I said, these guys prioritize like attacking and serving a little bit more. Whereas, you know, depending on where you go in the world, I mean, regardless of where you go, like passing, receiving, defense, blocking, all these things are super important. Every skill is important in the, in the sport of volleyball, but that's where I would say this league is a little bit behind. Back in 2019, the Indian audiences were mostly oblivious to the volleyball scene in our country. It seems like there's been some changes. It seems like the level's higher this year, whether it's the foreigners they've picked up, whether it's incorporating the foreigners in the training camps, the coaches themselves, the players themselves getting better, but, but it seems like something's definitely trending in the right direction. And obviously it's also nice to have a fan base now and not be in the bio bubble. Um, so yeah, but it, it seems like things are on the up and up and, and the level's definitely getting higher. Cut to 2023, we have a full-fledged league with eight teams from across the country and 16 players from across the globe to boast of. What's going on for beach volleyball at this time of year? So I come here and play indoor and it's kind of the perfect timing to where I finish this and I go back and I start my beach season. With the league being broadcasted globally and the Club Volleyball World Cup set to be held in India this year, Indian athletes can finally think global. But what is the step ahead? Eight months to prepare yourself with a team, then, then you're going to have time to get that much better when you only have two months. You can only train so much. So yeah, it's, you know, I think maybe you're, there's a disadvantage in terms of physicality, in terms of skill and technique, building connection, building bond with everything with the team. You know, the longer you have, the better you can get as a team. So. Yeah, I would say so. It has nothing to do with the athletics or the skill set. I think it has more to do with the coaching um, that, they, that they maybe aren't getting from a young age. And, you know, these guys are playing a lot of, like, rogue individual dirtball tournaments or whatever. I don't know what, exactly what it's called um, for two months out of the year. So where a lot of people are, you know, training most year round. And if they're not playing on their professional team, they're back with their country playing on their national team. Um, and like I said, these guys prioritize, like, attacking and serving a little bit more. Whereas, you know, depending on where you go in the world, I mean, regardless of where you go, like passing, receiving, defense, blocking, all these things are super important. Every skill is important in the, in the sport of volleyball, but that's where I would say this league is a little bit behind. Um, is where you'll see maybe a lack of reception, a lack of defense, a lack of block, um, just technicality. Coming from the United States, Cody explains how the National Collegiate Athletic Association is one of the main reasons for the growth of sports, especially volleyball in the US, as compared to India's unsystematic route to the national team. More professional than any professional league that I've played in. You know, now they're starting to figure out ways to pay athletes that are in college because of the revenue that they're bringing in. I don't know exactly how it works, but when I was there, you know, it was. I was going to university for free, they were paying for my university, so I didn't have to pay for that, but we weren't getting paid or anything. However, the, the facilities, the coaches, the, the staff, it's all at a very high level, you know, like we had a jacuzzi, a cold tub, there's like eight training tables with at least five different physios, a doctor, three strength and conditioning coaches. so it's, it's a full program, a team of people around you doing everything they can to make you successful. So, so it's, it's very organized, it's very professional. And the main difference is, is probably just the coaching, not even, not even the style of coaching, but just that people are playing from an earlier age and getting coached at a higher level of more, more technical and tactical volleyball skills. Um, so, you know, when I was 12 years old, I'm doing an hour of passing at practice before we even get onto anything else. Here, these guys are they, they prioritize attacking and serving, but maybe lack in defense and block and serve receive and things like this. So the, the main difference is, is being coached from a young age, I think, at a higher level, which has to do, I think it just has to do with a lot of resources and opportunity. That's the biggest difference, you know, mm -hmm. and to do with the skill sets themselves, if, if that makes sense.